Hi, my name is Miss Tyres and I'm Head of Design Technology. I'm just going to give you a brief overview as to what is an offering for our faculty in 2021. This is the Pathways. Um, you can have a look at this again later, but it's just showing you all the different subjects that you may have come across um, as we did our transfer into Enhance. There may be some subjects that you've done that are no longer um, here, but that doesn't mean that they're irrelevant. They are completely relevant. They've just potentially had a name change. What I do want you to focus on is the pre-VCE, which is new in understanding design technology, and I'll go into further detail in a moment, as well as the Excel programs that we have on offer. As you can see, there are four at this stage in regards to design technology. We have a brand new one called Systems Engineering, and at this stage, we're just offering units one and two, so you can get familiar with the outcomes associated with that. We've also got product design and technology, and you'll notice that's been repeated twice. It's not a mistake, it's because we have two streaming areas. One is to do with multi-materials, which is your wood, your metal and your plastic, and the other one's to do with fabrics and fibre. Then at the very bottom there, you also have your food studies, units one through to four. Our previous understanding design technology, as you can see from the previous slide quickly, it's actually opened up for anyone who wants to go into the Excel area. The reason why we've done this as a grouping and not as individual ones, because the idea is that the design technology thinking and the design technology process is very holistic and it's transferable between whatever Excel pathway you decide to use. You'll look at um, real world industry experiences and you will create a portfolio based around the design process on the key area that interests you. So it's very individualistic and you could be working with a variety of people that are going to go into different pathways in Excel. Systems engineering, as I said, is new for 2021. The skills are there that you can read on the, um, the board as well as the overview. It is recommended that students who have done some sort of STEAM project or subject in the past, so you may have done dro drones, droids and robots, um, any sort of physics and any sort of digital and design technology subject. Unit one is about mechanical systems and unit two is about electrotechnological systems and they both link in and build your knowledge and skills throughout it. The next two slides refer to product design um, and technology, multi-materials and fabrics and fibre. I keep jumping back and forward to them because both of them have the exact same overview. The only difference is the assessment if you have a look at the weighted percentages. What I do have to point out though is that these are both SAT um, subjects which means they have a folio included in them. So also the point of difference with these two subjects which is great is unit two is a collaborative design so you guys actually work as a team and within a team to produce something. It's a great skill to be transfer into other subjects and as well into future workforce. So you've got four units. And as I said, if you have a look between the two, they're both coming out the same outcome. So you're looking at sustainable product redevelopment. You're looking at collaborative design, applying the product design process and product development, evaluation and promotion. The only difference is on this page, you're looking at wood, metal and plastic. And on this page, you're looking at um, fashion and fabric design. Our last page is about food studies, um, units one through to four, and you can see what the skills and assessment is there, as well as the overview. And we have four units as well. Unit one is food origins, unit two is about food makers, unit three is about food and daily life, and unit four is about food issues, challenges, and futures. Here you do practicals as well as your theory, which is very similar to what you've been doing in the previous um, years if you have been doing the enhanced subjects. And what I also suggest for all of you, if you have any further questions that you send us through an email, you can send it to myself, Ms. Tyres, or you can ask anyone else in the domain if you want further clarification about anything that you've heard today. Thank you. Hey. My name is Faisal and I am the student domain leader for technology. I am going to explain the importance of studying digital technology over the next few slides. 
had received a perfect score in 2019 in software development. It is recommended that you have completed at least two of the enhanced subjects in digital, digital technology pathways before commencing unit one and two applied computing. So it will be anything in this section or in the subjects that will support a lot of the VC skills and knowledge base are web design and development and computer programming. So these two and this one you must complete unit one and two of applied computing before you can commence a unit three and four subject in digital technologies due to the amount of knowledge and skills required the only subject offered for unit three and four digital technology in 2021 will be data analytics mm. VC computing focuses on the application of a problem solving method methodology and strategies and techniques for managing information systems in a range of contexts to create digital solutions that meet specific needs. VC computing is underpinned by four key concepts approaches to problem solving, data and information, digital systems and, and interactions and impact. An important component of the study is is the opportunity for students to develop social capital that is the shared understanding in the social network that enables cooperation and a cooperative approach to problem solving. We see computing provides students with opportunities to acquire and apply knowledge and skills to use digital systems efficiently and effectively when creating digital solutions both individually and as part of a network. Students investigate legal requirements and ethical responsibilities that individuals and organizations must uh, have with respect to the security and integrity of data. You can see the recommendations for students who are interested in doing unit 1 and 2 applied computing. I would like to give you an overview of what the course is about. Unit 1 applied, applied computing. In this unit, students are introduced to the stages of the problem solving methodology. Students focus on how data can be used within software tools such as databases and spreadsheets to create data visualizations and the use of programming languages to develop working software solutions. In area of study 1, as an introduction to data analytics, students respond to a teacher provided analysis of requirements and designs to identify and collect data in order to present their findings as a data visualizations. They present work that includes database, spreadsheet, and data visualization solutions. In area 32, students select and use a programming language to create a working software solution. Students prepare, document, and monitor project plans and engage in all stages of the problem solving methodology. Unit 2 Applied Computing. In this unit, students focus on developing innovative solutions to needs or opportunities that they have identified and propose strategies for reducing security risks to data and information in a network environment. In area 31, students work collaboratively and select a topic for further study to create an innovative solution in an area of interest. The innovative solution can be presented as a proof of concept a prototype or a product. Students engage in all areas of the problem solving methodology again. In area of study 2, as an introduction to cybersecurity, students investi investigate networks and threats, vulnerabilities and risks to data and information. They propose strategies to protect the data accessed using a network. Please note that unit 3 and 4 has a SAT involved and you must have successfully completed Applied Computing 1 and 2 before commencing Unit 3 and 4. You can see how the assessments for Unit 3 and 4 are broken up on the page. Once again, I would like to give you an overview of what this course is about. Unit 3 Data Analytics In this unit, students apply the problem solving methodology to identify and extract data through the use of software tools such as database, 
spreadsheet and data visualization software to, cre to create data visualizations or infographics. In this unit, students reinforce their understanding of the analysis, design and development stages of the problem solving methodology. In area of study 1, students respond to teacher provided solutions, requirements and designs. Students develop data visualizations and use appropriate software tools to present their findings. Appropriate software tools include database, spreadsheet, and data visualization softwares. In area of 32, students propose a research question, prepare a project plan, collect and analyze data, and lastly, design infographics or dynamic data visual visualizations. Area of 32 forms the last part of the school assess task. SAT that is to be completed in Unit 4, Area 1. Unit 4, Data Analytics. In this unit, students focus on determining the findings of research question by developing infographics or dynamic data visualization based on large complex data sets and on the security strategies used by an organization to collect data and information from threats. In Area 31, Students apply the problem solving strategies of development and evaluation to develop their preferred design prepared in Unit 3, Area of 32, into infographics or dynamic data visualization and evaluate the solution and project plan. Area of 31 forms the second part of the school assess staff, SAT. In Area of 32, students investigate security practices of an, organi of an organization. They examine the threats to data and information, evaluate security strategies, and recommend improved strategies for protecting data and information. 